Now, in one of the local car clubs that I'm in, uh, UK Honda Group, uh, there was one of the administrators of that club, uh, Dan. I regret not having him in more videos than um, he was. If anything, he was kind of in the background, but I spoke to and had brilliant conversations with Dan throughout the time of, being, of me being part of that club. And like many, many other people that he's met in his life, um, he helped me a great deal. If you can remember when we first were putting on the Mugen spoiler and I mentioned about the cutout around the front tow hook, yeah, that was Dan that pretty much just said, I've got one of them, I get it paid for you and you can have a spare to cut a hole into. That's just the kind of person he was. Uh, when we were fitting the exhaust, I didn't know what bolts to use to, to um, connect it up and I actually followed somebody else's advice and he was correct. And Daniel from UK Honda Group, you've actually proven me right here because we think they are M10s instead of M8s. So my nuts are too small. Yeah, that was also Dan, trying to be as helpful as he always was. A couple of months ago, Dan took his own life. From what I know, he was severely depressed. Nobody saw it coming because of how happy he was for other people and how helpful he was with other people. Um, he would never satisfy with his own car, even though it is an amazing example of an FN2 that, he's, that he had and eventually his internal battles became too much for him. But we want to remember Dan for the amazing person that he was and we want to make as much fuss for him as he deserved when he were alive. So today we're having a memorial car meet for Dan where any car is welcome just to show respect and I've been kindly asked to make a video of this event so we can have a memory of the day and a memory of him um, in a video so obviously I'm quite honoured to have that responsibility um, and I want to make sure that it does Dan justice and I can imagine him now saying stop making a fuss about me it's not about me well today is and it should be so the car's clean it's about five past two now. People are heading there for three o'clock. Um, I'm going to set off about half past. That's how long it takes me to get to the location. Um, and we're going to celebrate his life. Okay, so we're at the location, which I've forgotten the name of already. Just pulled up. 50% of the cars are red FNs, <laughs> which is funny. But there's loads of close friends here. We're going to have a drink or have a coffee or whatever. Have a nice chat and a catch up. And um, I'll get some nice videos of the cars that are here. And just, just enjoy the day for Dan. So I'll speak to you in a bit.
Uh, as per usual, when I meet up with the UK on the group gang, we do a lot of talking and chatting and catching up and reminiscing, which is what today is really about. Um, I have caught a couple of cars leaving and there are some other cars here. So the cars that people have brought to come and celebrate Dan's life and Dan's car, which has been here as well. The new owners come and picked it up and we had a nice chat with him as well. And he appreciates where the cars come from and what it's, it's just a, a beautiful um, example of, of that car. Oh, that's a right. I need some of them. Definitely. Coming down. And this lad comes on and he's like talking to us like who, who's this third person? <laughs> oh, on another radio station. Yeah, it's not the same because they only have a few like fans. And there was this guy who's a marshal of some race track with motorbike crosses and stuff. Is <laughs> that where he is? It's not where in the year one. <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant. I need them and that especially like you're rolling in convoy. That's like the best idea ever. Yeah. He's very top gear. If I'll <laughs> but like you know, we'll have a conversation, you know, and Yeah, yeah. yeah it's great. Are you one Jake? Mm. Yeah, oh look at you, Rod <laughs> Roger, Roger. <laughs> yeah, it's right. rolling. It is rolling. Subscribe. Subscribe to uh, FNLU uh, Spare Time Network. Spare Time Network. Get on it. YouTube, of YouTube. <laughs> off, right, it's gonna happen. <laughs> it's happening. Yeah. FN's taking over. Look at Jeremy Clarkson. I'm calling you out. <laughs> Right. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Enjoy your two hour journey. Oh, thank you. I can't wait. All right. See you later, guys. Thank you. See you later. Hey, dear. And just like that, the meet is over. Big shout out from the guys from Spare Time Network, Jake and Nick. I spoke to them a lot of times online. Uh, their channel is pretty good they've been doing loads of um like maintenance work with their fans with jake's fn especially and it's really good so i have to shout them out especially for coming down two hour journey to uh to spend some time down here dedicating with with this dedication meet for dad it's been nice i'm sorry it might not have been a really long video and it's been a lot of fn2s in one video as well but i think it's the car community that is the strength in people that may be suffering uh, like Dan was suffering he did eventually speak out and there were so many people that were there for him friends and family and um, Dan from Sad Boy Race Club I have to do a massive shout out for you buddy because I don't think it has spent as long on this planet as he did if you weren't there um, as an outside place to reach um, and Sad Boy Race Club is having having a break at the minute because um, Dan's got his own battles that he needs his own time uh, to go and deal with. But what that brand has done for people in this scene is unbelievable, unbelievable, and it is breaking the stigma for people, and I do think especially blokes that need to say something. It, if you're listening and like, let this video be a turning point, a sign, a reminder. If you're feeling horrific when you wake up in the morning and you think, my job's great, my car's great, my family's great, you don't need an excuse to be depressed. That's why it's a mental illness. You will be depressed no matter what. It's obviously not a choice. Don't ever feel bad. Don't feel bad for burdening other people. You're not burdening other people. There are people around you that care dearly about your existence as much as people did about Dan's. This is just one of the dreadful cases where he's now not around to see that. But on a lighter note, I hope we've given him an amazing send off and we've done it in the only way we know how, which is to meet as a community of car people and just talk about the good times that, that we've had with him. Going in the middle of the night with people to go and pick up parts helping people install their parts on their cars We can't lose another person like that. I hope you've enjoyed this video If you do want to see any other of my videos, please subscribe, but that's not what we're here for Concentrate on yourselves think about your own mental well-being as much as other people's think about your own And please try and enjoy the rest of your day so you can wake up tomorrow and deal with the next. Thank you for watching